What's going on everyone? It's Kelly here and right now it's day four out here off of Culebra, <laughs> which is an island off of Puerto Rico. Now just to give you guys a little bit of an update if you haven't seen my past couple videos, um, we spent the first night, myself and Blue Gabe, in Puerto Rico and we went fishing with Carlos who also runs the drop fishing charters out of San Juan. The next three nights we've been staying in Culebra, it's the island off of Puerto Rico and we've been fishing, spear fishing, exploring, just doing everything you can imagine. Um, right now, we're 12 miles offshore in front of Calebra. To my right, we have St. Thomas. And to my left, that's the mainland Puerto Rico. And then behind us is Calebra, the island that we're currently staying on. Today's menu, we are dropping the electric reel. Um, we're trying to get either some queen snappers or some yellow eye. Uh, so far, we've just been sharked three times. We might go in a little shallower, drop some vertical jigs, our Johnny jigs that we use, um, and then also drop a chicken rig, which is what we use back home. It's just a weight on the bottom with two floating hooks up the leader. Um, so right now we're gonna get to it. Not too much luck right now, but later today, we're gonna go spear fishing, diving, snorkel around, just kind of relax, explore, because this is our last full day on the island. Sorry if you guys are getting seasick with this footage. The camera's still in the boat's rocking, but Let's see what we catch. All right, you guys, so we're out here in about a hundred foot of water. Look at the big friggin' bird up above you. Whoa. She's gonna eat it. She's gonna eat this rubber. Oh my gosh. He's, he's doomed. <laughs> about to be in the middle. Where's it at? Oh boy. Sorry, buddy. It's just not your day. He swallowed him that fast. So right now we're dropping a chicken rig down about a hundred feet. Carlos over there caught a couple butter grouper, which we ate those last night on Blue Game's channel. They're very delicious. And we get them back at home, but I guess they're more darker back at home. And here they're a lot, they're bright red color. No, he came off. Those are some big chunks. They eat them big chunks? You want to catch big fish. Huh? All right. He's hooked. I got one. I knew I felt one on there. That little dude. He was on there and then it didn't wasn't moving very much. So this is my first I'm getting in the light. Boat's rocking like crazy. I'm trying to not make this weight hit the boat. But this right here is a butter grouper. Hold on, let me get them off here. So cool. These would be so sick in a fish tank. Hold on, let me set this down. Look at that. Don't lip them because they do have teeth. Check him out. How cool is that? They're absolutely delicious. These are the same things that we ate last night on Blue Gabe's channel. Butter grouper. Red fish with blue polka dots. You know what they would do? Make the best ceviche ever. No. Holy Don't turn him loose. Colors. It's changing colors. Look, it's getting stripes. You know why? He's stressed out, man. <laughs> Natalia, did you catch a butter grouper? Yeah. yeah. Right here. Oh. It has parasites. I mean, whatever those things are called. Whatever. Oh, on the side of his face. Look at that. Ew. He'll eat you, good. <laughs> you want to catch and cook them in parasites? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Let's catch about a dozen of these. Yeah. These two are going in the box. Look, it looks like a manatee. <laughs> Doesn't it have the shape of a manatee? <laughs> ew, 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 seven. <laughs> oh, that thing is on there. We're gonna get him off and put him in the ice box. Check out those fish though. I don't know what they're called yet. They, they're they like a mixture between a yellow eye and a vermilion. Oh my God, this is gross. I don't think I can get it off. Oh, oh that is. Ew. Ew. Oh. Ew, God, these suckers are, oh my God. Mm. If there's one thing along with spiders that I don't like, 
it's any type of like parasite or tick. Ugh, freaks me out. I think we're clean. He's ready to go in the box. Sleep well, little one. Sleep well. Okay, so the rig that we're using uh, for these butter grouper, and really you can use this for any type of snapper or a lot of different kinds of fish. You have a weight at the bottom here with your leader and two hooks that are floating off the leader. That way when the weight hits the bottom, your bait is just naturally flowing in the water. What we're using for bait is cut bonita. What did he call them here? Albacore? Yeah. But back home, it's just bonita. So we're just using cut bait here. And we actually trolled for a little bit and caught this bait right before we started dropping rigs. Just like that. Bone apple teeth. Fresh sashimi for the fish. All right. I can go ahead, I can drop. Yeah. You're gonna let that weight just fall 100 feet. Once you feel the line go slack at the bottom, reel a little. And the next thing is all to judgment. You gotta feel the fish bite, when to reel. Current go back. Hit the bottom. These the wind and the waves are picking up like crazy. tricky because they're they're small fish and you'll feel them bite like just now I'll reel up and you'll feel them fight so I have a fish on right now you got him go yeah. it's hard for me to tell sometimes when they go to mid water all right there we go he's on if you reel too fast can they come off no I guess it depends Oh, they're pretty. They are so gorgeous. This one is a lot more orange than red, I feel like. I wish we had these back at home. I'm so jealous. Look at that. They got little mouths too, so when you drop that rig down, you feel them all picking on it and picking on it. Finally, you hook one. Oh, look, look at his throat. It's a crab. I see. It's a it's a little channel crab, like a, a spider crab or a channel. Yeah. What's up with me catching all the fish Dump that eat right. stuff? Dump him right here. Hold on. You want to stick your finger in there? Just dump it. Oh. Oh no. I don't think he's alive. Channel crab. Yeah. Maybe, I don't, I can't really tell. Look how, look at the little guy. Now this, this fish, like little groupers, they're such little pigs. He ate my bait. This fish ate this bait while eating this bait, ate this. Unless he regurgitated it when I pulled him up. That's probably what he did. But still, their bellies are so full. They're just little porkers. Also, away you go. All right, you guys, I think we're gonna go to a different spot and maybe try to target some strawberry grouper. Um, if not, we're gonna hop in the water, try to shoot something, and then probably go to an island and just relax. And like Blue Gabe said, drink some of his Blue Gabe style margaritas. So, 
we'll see you guys in the next spot. All right, so the strawberry grouper didn't work out too well. The currents are just being really funky. So there's this little rock that comes up right here in the ocean and we're gonna go ahead and dive it. We're looking for a hogfish, but we're just gonna see what we see. Kind of like going with the flow. Well, we're ending our day. We didn't have too much luck spear fishing. We saw a beautiful reef. I mean, the sea fans, the coral, the rock, the little coral reef fish were beautiful, but unfortunately we didn't have any fish that we could actually spear. So it was more like we had some fun snorkeling, holding spear guns. <laughs> I did manage to pluck this little guy off the reef though. Check him out, that invasive lionfish. Now these fish are actually very good to eat. I love pan searing them in some butter and sea salt or you can cut them up for ceviche and they're delicious both ways. Right now the sun's going down we're gonna go ahead and relax spend the rest of the day and just enjoy the islands right now. Gabe went up on the island there's actually some white-tailed deer on this island. I don't even know how they got there or why they're there but we just saw two white-tailed deer and Gabe's up there trying to get closer footage of them as well as trying to fly the drone but there's an airport over there so I don't know if it's gonna work but check out this water guys crystal clear absolutely beautiful all right you guys I'm closing out this video thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one